Hawks represent Solomon Island people say We people start originally from my homeland Like my old man say There's nothing impossible So we have to bring this message to my brother Lyrical straight from the it was hard to believe that only a week had passed since Nate and I arrived on Delos. In the blink of an eye, we had ticked off so many firsts, from boat work to night passages and everything in between. I was starting to learn that to thrive on Delos, you must turn both your heart and your mind into a sponge, soaking in and storing away experiences, knowledge, skills, and friendships. And now, as the days began to pass in Tobago, I would be learning to master one of the things that the Delos crew does best, the art of going with the flow. Once again, freaking dumping. What are you doing out here, Senior? Waiting for the rain to stop. What was the plan for today? The original plan was to move to another anchorage and go diving. Which can still happen. Yeah. It'll be a wet day. In the meantime, what are you doing, Brihan? Monitoring the voltage of the lithium batteries. How's it doing? It's a rainy day, so we're getting no solar today. Is it struggling because of that? Yeah, so we used a lot of power yesterday because uh, the weather was also quite poor, so there was no sun. And uh, we were on the computers all day, editing, doing stuff. We're cooking off the induction stove in the oven, which is actually working. And uh, we took the batteries down quite low. What are you doing, Nate? Nate, what's your nickname? Do you have a nickname? Not yet. Like, you I don't have, have any? Dog. Nate, 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 Nate Dog. Nate Dog. Nate Dog. Can you tell us some of your boat terminology that's been developed thus far? <laughs> oh, man. I just make up random words for things. And... Do you... Can you think of one, guys? Yes. The so, first one was side thruster. Side, side blower. Oh, side, side blower. blower. Side blower for bow thruster. This and got called the lobby. This, this the area lobby. is the lobby from now on. Uh, what else was there? We're going to put the sail out like the balloonerist side sail. Side, side the sail, oh, yeah. <laughs> Brian put me to task to read this the complete sailor book so that I, we don't I, have to play. I accept even a partial sailor. <laughs> <laughs> This is a great book, FYI. Yeah. Attempt so. number two at putting our jackets on and getting in, and every time the rain stops, we're like, okay, here's our window, and then it takes at least a minute or two for people to actually get ready. And then Brian went to grab his jacket, and he's like putting it on, and then <laughs> the rain starts dumping again. Although, well, we got beers. We might need to change the name of the cockpit to the lobby, because everyone's just... Waiting. Lobbying. <laughs> Waiting lobby. area. Just lobby around. Cue elevator music. All right. You ready to make the run? We're going to get soaked no matter what. Yeah. We're gonna get and I don't even, and the big crazy thing is we don't really know why we're going. And we're just going to go in. <laughs> you know the town is going to be just like quiet. There's going to be anybody else. Nah, there's going to be people drinking. <laughs> we dinghied into town with our rain jackets, a few beers, and no real agenda. My first lesson in going with the flow was that sometimes the best plan is no plan. So Blue, tell us about the first time you saw the man shortage. <laughs> well, when we landed in Tobago last time, we were given directions to immigration up here that said, We'll pass the man shortage, and then we'll go right. And we're still not sure what the man shortage is, so hopefully we're gonna find out. Man shortage. You can hear Brady's laugh. Like, that was like the first thing I heard. I was like, oh, he's here. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> well, look what we found here. Oh, thanks, brother. Have good corn, bro. Mmm. It's young and fresh. Okay, so here's a question for all you viewers out there. What do you think the sign over the top of the bathroom that says no bareback allowed means? <laughs> Would you be willing to, to tell me what it, the man, what it means man shortage? Huh? What? Okay. We've been wondering for a very long time. Man shortage? Man shortage. Okay, I'll let you know. Okay. Uh, man shortage is if you check the universe, the world, uh -huh. you know why they're in the prison? Okay. In the school, 
In a school, most men will die oh. on the shipwreck. There is not enough men in the world to surface the girls. There are more men. Okay, so this turned out to be a pretty long explanation. But here's the cliff notes for all those inquiring minds out there. The scientific theory of man shortage is elegantly simple, really. Too many men are dying, more specifically from events like war and shipwrecks. On top of that, women conceive a female child much faster than a male child. So what are the societal repercussions of this global imbalance, you may ask? The answer is quite elementary, really. There's simply not enough men on this planet to properly service all the women in the world. So, there you have it. That, lady and gentlemen scholars, is the scientific theory of man shortage. So you named your bar man shortage to man make shortage. people, to raise awareness about this. Uh, awareness of man yes. shortage. shortage. Yes, okay. shortage of men. What do you find in the bathroom? So at man shortage, there is a mirror angled precisely so that while you're peeing at the urinal, you're looking at your own dick. And I have to say, I appreciate the angle that I've never seen before. <laughs> I'll go, I'll go shoot it for you. Here we go. What is that about? <laughs> Yeah, that's the naughty mirror. Yeah, it's perfect. Is it good? <laughs> hey Brady, what's your favorite thing about man shortage? It feels like home. <laughs> it really does. It feels welcoming. Like they just yeah, it does. I came in here by myself and they just gave me like a bowl of corn and a beer for free, and I was just like, here's the money. Like, no, I don't know, man, your first one, first one's on us. It's a good spot. And it makes perfect sense why there's a shortage of men around the world. Got a lot of research to do. Okay, what's your favorite thing about man shortage? Brian? Oh. <laughs> Mine's so different. I know which one Brian's is, though. Which, which guess, the which one? Oh, shit. Yeah, Strategic now he's gonna want to, like, mount mirror. one in the bathroom on that log. It's not true. I know it. <laughs> Brought this waffle maker back from Sweden, and when it was in my luggage, it broke. Oh, so no. I have to sit here and hold it closed. So the waffle maker takes about 700 watts of power. It's running off the batteries right now. Is that a lot of watts? It's quite a few. Not if you have lithium batteries. So golden. Golden. Yes. I never have too much syrup. Someone gave us this, one of our patrons that were here. It's called Northwoods Gourmet Girl Bourbon Caramel. Yep. From Maine. Look at this little puppy right here. Yeah, look at that health blast. <laughs> oh, it's so good out here right now. Yes! Wish it was like this every morning. Such a difference, and you can actually sit out here. You like our cockpit is getting awfully yeah, smelly cool. from like wet pillows yeah. and wet towels, and our rooms all damp from yeah. sleeping with the hatch open and then waking up in the middle of the night trying to shut it. And it can't dry anything. It sucks. Yeah. But this is incredible. Today is a very special day for us because we were in Tobago like five months ago and we were diving out here and we only had like five or six days to dive and we found out how incredible it was and now we're back and we have more than five or six days the past couple days have been super rainy but today the sun is out and we're gonna head off to the sisters the rocks that we dove last time where we had to tow in behind the dinghy <laughs> and I think we have a bit better of a plan this time and we're gonna be towing a uh, a surface marker so everyone knows where we are at all times. Well, let's do it. Just getting the camera gear together. Invigorated by the first sunshine we'd seen in days, we motored off towards the dive site looking a bit like the Clampets, with the deck completely covered in stanky towels, mushy cushions, and clammy wetsuits.
And then, out of nowhere, our dreams of dryness were dashed. Just when we thought we were gonna get our shit dry. <laughs> My next lesson in going with the flow. When life gives you rain, keep your head up and you might just find a dolphin. Oh, dolphin! Oh, it's big! Woo! <laughs> yeah, baby! Here, yeah, and then I'll see which way the current's going, and we'll either swing this way or that way. Yeah, as long as you have your oh, on on dimly dongle. Dimly dongle. My right. safety sauce will be up at all times. Okay, suit up. Okay. That nice weather this morning was just a big giant tease. <laughs> Got out in the ocean, and here we are. It's getting pouring down, but we're gonna dive it anyway. Here we go. Nothing like putting on a wet, wet, a wet, suit. wet suit. At least it's fresh water. This was going to be a drift dive, meaning that we would be floating along with the current. And rather than swimming back to the boat at anchor, we would be getting picked up in Maggie wherever we finish the dive. Since someone needs to be at the surface on lookout and to make the pickup, we would be splitting up into two teams. The first one being Brady, Blue, and me. Divers in the water! We swam and swam towards the rocks, and we were eventually rewarded with a vibrant underwater landscape, complete with what looked like a wall completely coated in everlasting gobstoppers. The boys just went in the dinghy, and I'm by myself on Delos, just trying to keep her safe and sound and steady. It's quite hectic. <laughs> you can't see that good because the rain is just going crazy. Hi, Casa. Uh, I've got the marker in sight. So they're still hanging out at this tip of the island. Uh, we're just sort of floating around off the side here waiting for them to pop up. But if you want to start coming this way real slowly, that might be a good idea. Over. She really doesn't like driving. She won't drive a car. She's never driven a motorcycle. She knows how, she just doesn't like it, but she has absolutely no problem driving Delos around in the ocean and the waves and like the rocks here and fishing boats and this little girl with a big sailboat out there. <laughs> for still diving though. It would have been yeah. very easy to just be like, 
Aw, oh, we're just gonna chill like it's bad conditions and yeah, you know, we're out here. Dinner done. Yeah. There's a lot of fishing boats out here, a lot of like the local fishermen guys. They're probably wondering what the hell we're doing out here. They probably don't even see like sailboats out here very often. I was like naked trying to take my wetsuit <laughs> off so I could go inside and go pee. <laughs> and I turned around and there was like three fishing boats like all surrounding me. <laughs> Not just naked but like awkward like trying to take your wetsuit off naked. <laughs> Jordan is giving a little yeah. show show. It is jumping rain right now. Holy shit. Jello, Jello, Maggie, Maggie over. Visibility is pretty shit so I'm staying really close to their marker. So once I have them on the boat, I'll let you know. And wherever you are, you can just kind of slowly put the boat into the swell and the wind, whichever direction that is, because it seems to be changing a lot. For my final lesson in going with the flow, as our wild scuba mission proved, it's the challenges along the way that make the adventure. So dive into the darkness, motor out into the rain, and be sure to appreciate those great men in your life, lest we ever forget the global tragedy that is. Man, yes. shot, yes. Yes. Okay. shot of men. Up next, we dodge logs on Delos and head over to Speyside for some non-stop scuba madness. There is not enough men in the world to surface the girls. That's why we have incest. Oh, I see. Okay. Let's see if I understand this. There's, this there's too many men dying, this, yes, too and there's many too die. many girls being born. Being born. And there's too many girls to be serviced properly by all the men. You know what? They, why are they there? Well, you know why are they in the prison? Why? Because of a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not going to argue with that. It could be on a thousand ways to die or something. Business in the front, party in the back. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> like it? I like it a lot. <laughs>